Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. I'm about to go up in there. But I hear like chirping, like there's birds up here. Time, timer flash, seven times. BT system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. Let's see. Birds. <laughs> Sounds like it's over there. I don't know, but we will let her know. <sighs> Birds, where are you? all this eons ago. All right, let's see. I gotta be like a, like a ballerina here. And there's a unit over there. How the hell do they expect anyone to service that? You know, I gotta, it's a huge space here. All right, but Oh my God. Oh look, our refrigeration technologies, Viper. <laughs> and you can see before I do, here's a filter dryer, of course. Oh, look at this. I mean, it's not crazy. There's the, there's like a media cabinet here. They slapped on a piece of, of uh, sheet metal and so it's sucking in the hot attic air. Oh God. So, we're here for a, a tune-up, and I don't know really what I can tune up on this thing, to be honest with you. But, but what I do know is that they're functional and working. So I guess, you know, give them the once over. And uh, to be honest with you, that's my, that's my access point right there. <laughs> And if you haven't done so already, I think I should rename 
this channel and call it the adventures of Mikey Pipes because this is really an adventure. And as long as these birds don't bother me, I won't bother them. I wonder what kind of damage they've done to the ductwork, but look at this. There's my hole over there, all right? I gotta climb over this, that, straddle this flex. Oh, you hear those birds, right? Those are definitely birds. Go away, birds. St. Mike commands thee to go away. Oh, God, help me. While I'm maneuvering out of this attic, I don't even want to touch this with a 10-foot pole and Godzilla pushing. <laughs> but while I'm, while I'm trying to get out of this attic, make sure if you haven't done so already, give me a thumbs up. You start smashing that thumbs up button. Best way to support this channel and Mikey Pipes and the adventures that I see is to like this video. Oh God. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe, like, let me get your thoughts and feedback on. I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a miracle. Mikey Pipes needs a miracle. Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? Hi. Oh, you're a yellow lamb. Yes, you are. Oh, look at you. I don't want to give you attention to. Ma'am? I hate to be the bear of not maybe some good news, but it sounds like you have birds in your attic. Baby birds chirping away in there. You know that hatch that you have to, that panel you have to take off? And when I take, take that off, I start hearing chirping. I think in there. they're in here. And where? So there's a, I'm not all the way back here. There's a vent here okay. that they nest in. But it does end. Uh, so I think that's where they are. Because every year they go in there. Because I'm up there, and instead of making a left to where the equipment is, I, I made a right because that's where the noise is coming from, and then it gets louder, and then they quiet, and then. In the real room of the attic? In the, no, no, not. Oh, up top. Up, you know, top of the top stairs, and then, yeah. you know, that, pa that panel. It's right. Through, so I go in there. Which is now you're inside the attic, attic, right? And there's chirping in there. I, I hope it's this. Let me take a look. I just had my roof looked at and everything, but let me go see. Because I also went outside to see if I was losing my mind. Maybe there's yeah, right I'm there, but the oh, sorry. That's right. Hear that? Those are birds. I don't. I can't find them, and I don't want Mama Bird. Don't start attacking me. I'm gonna fall through a ceiling here because there's no floor. Oh, okay, let's go see what Godzilla's doing. Alright, let's go see Godzilla. A sea of lint? A sea of lint? Wow. You know what they call that? You know what this was used for back in the days? What? Uh, well, it's not a, a lint trap. No, definitely not. <laughs> this was the, uh, the coal chute. You know, back in the days when to heat your house, you heat your house with coal. And you had coal delivered and they dropped it down. Uh, lefty loosey righty tidy, look at that guys. If you want to get yourself a uh, a lefty loosey righty tidy shirt, head on over to uh, down below, spring.com and support Godzilla. 100% of proceeds go to Godzilla. Wow, yeah, it's <laughs> But where is all that lint coming from is a million dollar question. No. Oh, there's a dryer vent right there. See that? Right there. Wow, crazy. All right. It never turns on? Yeah. All right. Let's see why this one's not coming on. We're open shaft. Wow. Let's, damn. So we don't have we don't have a signal for this thing to turn on because because this 
is no longer connected. Which means I don't have 20, I probably don't have 24 volts, but let's get the voltmeter and just see. You never know. Look at this condenser. Damn. What do you think, Godzilla? I think that's 24 volts. I would be, I'd be shocked. Negative. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Fudge. Well, at least this one works. All right. How's the pressure looking on this one? even know how I got back here but we got some weird shit going on in there we have like T terminal and X and a bunch of crazy stuff but anyway I've isolated that the white wire is hooked up to C and the other one's hooked up to T I'm assuming that's Y which then goes to the condenser I've never seen an old fetters like that See if you get you guys see the model numbers there. Look at that. So not only we got birds in the attic, but take a look at what I'm working with here. Alright, duck board. I actually had to grab onto this threaded rod and carefully climb over this thing because there's no other way to get in here. No other way. So I have 26 volts leaving this air handler on that set of wires, which go that way and go across and it goes down there. Oh, my flashlight's dying. Oh, great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do? Okay. <laughs> Let me get back over there. I'm not, not on a Friday, bro. Not happening. Watch this, I'm gonna show you. Okay. Right there. Uh. Uh. Like a monkey. Oh, God, fuck it. Uh. 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 I did it. Heat pipes did it. Like an acrobat. Oh, look, I think this is. Yeah, see? T. So I had. C. Room thermostat. Condenser. Yeah, T. Look, see T. And C. I got a picture of this. Yeah, well, I'm back here again. Here's my wiring diagram. I just ran some new two wire. Godzilla's outside. We pulled it along the side of the house following the existing line sets. And I'm gonna connect, connect it to C and T inside here. Cause that's what it says according to that. She told me, I told her she's gotta replace her equipment. She goes, Mikey pipes, it's not happening. <laughs> I'm like, but you gotta get it up and running. I was like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can make it work. But we're sure gonna hell damn well try. So, run the new two wire. Open up this panel right now. Yeah, I know. 
You guys are gonna be thumbs and down like, yo, Mikey Pipes, what are you doing? Don't touch it, you're gonna own it. I'm like, okay, no, you're right. Let me show you this. All right, I'm gonna stick that in there like that. And I'm gonna go to the C and the T right there. All right, look at this blower wheel. I would love, actually, I don't even want this job, actually. But someone's gonna eventually rip all this shit out. And it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. All right, let me get to work here. Get my needle nose and my flat screwdriver. Connect this while Godzilla's outside. All right, I wired C and T and Godzilla connected it. You can see files all the way over there. And I'll show you outside. Let me put this back together. Let me climb up out of this abyss. But Godzilla hooked it up to the, uh, the condenser. And when I flipped the switch on, the contactor pulled in. So let me go show you what we did outside. Let you guys uh, criticize all that good stuff. I don't really care, but let's see if I get this cover back on. Look, they put the thing right there in front of it. Like, what the hell are you guys doing now, bro? Come on. I'll show you guys how nuts I am. <sighs> Oh, God, help me. Grab onto the other threaded rod. Ride it. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have, courtesy of Peter Smart, I've got this crazy headlight on, right? and I got my phone just stuck on it, stuck on it. So, I don't know, hope you guys can see this. But I think I'm gonna change the name of the channel to the Adventure, Adventures of Mikey Pipes. Get it? Oh, look at this thing. I'll have to get in there. Look at that. Yeah, I know. You know what? Scratch the floor, but look at the floor. <sighs> All right, we started from up there, made our way down. We're gonna finish zip tying this. And we'll connect all the way to over there. See, and she works. Getting it done. Mikey Pipes getting it done. Look at that. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and smash that thumbs up button. St. Mike commands thee to smash that thumbs up button. Do it now. Getting it done, Godzilla. Getting it done. Getting it done. You know what's pretty cool about it? I'll, I'll give you a little bit of history with this, with this customer. Last summer, uh, the woman's son calls me up who lives in Plainview. And about five or six years ago, I actually uh, converted him from oil to gas, right? He did not have gas in the house. There wasn't even gas in the street, but we got a bunch of neighbors together and National Grid bought the gas down the line, right? I didn't do the neighbors, right? but I did him, right? And when his air conditioning died in his house, I did that as well, put in a carrier system in there. So last summer, he calls me up and he goes, hey, listen, do you go to Rockville Center, right? It's right, right near Valley Stream. I was like, yeah, of course. So he goes, all right, I need you to go to my mom's house. She's using this company, the air conditioning company, and they're telling her, you know, the, system, the, the compressor is dead and that they need to replace the whole system. And not just, well, that system needs to replace everything. And I was like, well, if you like, I go out there on a service call and we'll see what's going on. Right? Looking nice? Yeah. Jogger? Nice. Yeah, nice likeness. Anyway, I go over there. And the only thing that I found wrong, besides the age of the equipment being like, no, besides the age of the compression, where should I go? I need to get out of here. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't have ways on, because if I have ways on, I'm not a jogger. Butterface, though. Like, damn, so that what she's working with there? Damn. Butterface, though. Butterface. So I go there, and the only thing is that's wrong, mechanically wrong with the system, is the dual capacitor 
this school. <laughs> and they were telling her, and, they sh and she showed me the receipt. receipt. And, they, and the receipt said, compressor shorted to ground. Wow. Wow. You know, it, shorted to ground doesn't go away. Uh -uh. Right? Never. So it's not like but they either mis they misdiagnosed the system and they try to sell her a brand new system. And you saw it. Well, you didn't see it, but they, they saw what I was working with in that attic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's a massive job to, to do that. Massive. That's several day work. Several days worth of work. There. Oh, absolutely. All right, and just big money. They quoted her some crazy number? No, they didn't quote her price. Oh, they didn't even I don't price. think they wanted to do it. Nah. <laughs> but, yeah, so now here we are a year later yeah. doing this tune up, and I said, I told her, listen, you, you really need to replace it. I was like, listen, Mike, it's not happening. Uh -huh. Right? And I was like, can't you just like piece it together again like you did last year? I was like, I didn't really piece it together last year. I just replaced the dual capacitor, which is a consumable part, which we go through a lot of, yes. right? Especially when it gets hot out. Yeah, I was like, but we could try running a new wire from the air handler to the condenser and it should work. But if it doesn't work, there's no guarantee. Uh -huh. right, you're still going to pay me yep. like this. Pay me, right? We got it to work. Yes, we did. We got it to work. All right. If you haven't done so already, thumbs up. So smashing that thumbs up button and make sure you are a subscriber to support the channel. Be well. God bless. Have a great weekend.